Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impressions on the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia and also the Anastasia and Omrizi highlighter, which I'm super excited about. And I also got the Anastasia A23 brush to go with the highlighter. Also in the video, I explain maybe later on in the video, there is construction going on in my house. So if you hear things, I'm sorry. It isn't like a real talk through, but I give you guys my honest opinion on all the shadows at the end of the video. And then also, what else, what else, what else? I will give you swatches in just a little bit on all the products. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and keep click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload and let's just get on into it okay guys so here's the first set of swatches um it goes from tempura and then glistening and then orange soda and then pink rose and then sultry and bronze and mulberry those are the first um seven on the top and the shimmery shades are so pigmented and so beautiful. I love them so, so much. So I love, 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 love. And they swatched like orange soda and tempura didn't swatch really well, but they were really good on the eyes and mulberry swatched really well and it was a little bit patchy on the eye. So yeah, those are the colors there. Here is the rest of the seven colors it goes from rustic or no actually dusty rose sorry fairy burnt orange sienna rustic cypress umber and noir noir is like the blackest i've seen it i have noir in other palettes but it's not as black as this one all of the mattes except dusty rose i'm um, sorry uh dusty rose swatched really well and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, really enjoyed all of the mattes, how they swatched. Dusty Rose took a little bit. And then the Shimmering Color Fairy is just, just like the old other shimmers. Beautiful. It's beautiful. So those are the swatches of the last, or the bottom seven. Um, here is the swatch of the Omrizi um, highlighter, and let, or on my fingers. And then here's the swatch super pigmented super amazing oh, this color is so beautiful i love it okay dokie okay, guys we're going to do the eyes first with the soft glam palette um i was looking through instagram and i was like i really need some inspiration because i'm kind of lacking it right now so i'm like hmm, what should i do so i came across this picture by makeup by ann or i don't know how to say her name it just a halo eye and i just thought the colors in the palette would complement this eye really well um and i can kind of not recreate it because i'm not trying to recreate this exact look but it's kind of an inspiration for me so i thought hey like let's just take all these like beautiful colors and um yeah i will um swatch everything and stuff it should be already in the video somewhere so yeah i'm just going to test out the colors and see how i like them i tried to film this video three other times but it just hasn't worked out very well so today i dedicated my time to this video so i'm like yes 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 so let's just get on to it first color we're going to take is orange soda right here this color here and I'm taking a dose of colors brush because this is a really small packer brush and it's just like came in one of the palettes that they have and I'm going to take this color and I'm just going to put it on the inner and outer corner of my eye. Of course, we're going to build with this color, but the reason why I use this brush is because it's really teeny tiny and but so far, the pigmentation, girl, let me tell you, these shadows are very pigmented. And um, we will blend everything in just a second. So I'm just going to take this brush and kind of connect those two colors a little bit, but not too much. And you want to just build every color the same way.
Now we're going to move on to the next color. And the next color I'm going to use is burnt orange, which is this color here. Sorry. And you're going to do the same thing. Pack it on the inner and outer corner of your eyes. Now I'm going to go in with Sienna and do the same thing as I did before with the other colors. The next color and the last matte color I think I'm going to use today is a mulberry and again just go in with it with the same brush and do the same technique. But as you can see, they're blending out super beautifully and I love it. Now I'm going to carve out my center of my lid with the NARS Complete Soft Matte Complete Concealer and Custard in an E19. And the brushes I use to blend stuff out is the E26 and the E38. No, the R38. Sorry, the R38 and the E28. And I'm going to carve out the center of my eye with this concealer. This concealer is amazingly beautiful and I love it. And what you're going to do is you're going to take mulberry from the palette and kind of uh, mesh the concealer together with the outer corner and the inner corner. And we're gonna put a little bit of glitter, so don't worry if it doesn't work or it's not, um, doesn't do what you want it to do. Just have to be patient with it. And then we're going to go in with pink rose and do the same thing as we did with the mulberry color. Actually, I lied. I'm going to put pink rose all the way on the center of the lid. Ready? I'm going to do my other eye off camera. I am going to put lashes on, my base on, and then I'm going to go show you guys the highlight that I uh, I got. So I'm super excited. So I'll be back in just a bit. Hey okay, guys, so I'm back and my full face is done. If you want to know anything, my lashes, my foundation, anything, I'll be linked down below or written down below. Okay, so we're going to start with, I'm just going to mix burnt orange and sienna. Sorry, burnt orange and sienna here. Um, on this pencil brush. This is a M431 and just shake off a lot of the product and just start applying this to our lower lash line. And I'm putting a lot more sienna on the lower lash line right now. We will blend it out so don't be alarmed if it looks kind of not blended I will blend everything out in just a sec but um putting that on the lower lash line defined like a very defined brush which is a morphe m432 and taking this color right here which is mulberry all right I just want to show you guys what it looks like And just taking that closest to the lash line, like almost like a liner, but not too much. And then again, going in with burnt orange and orange soda, 
mixing those two and blending out the lower lash line and it looks like almost like a liner but it's not it's like not a liner at all okay guys so i'm back and i'm so excited because i'm using the anastasia beverly hills on Reezy highlighter today's in today's video which it's my first impression kind of first impression so but first impression on the packaging it's everything stars the packaging packaging so luxurious then it goes like this and it looks like that Ooh. And I'm going to use the A, this highlighting brush that everyone says it's super good, the A23. And you don't even need to wet it. So, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Um. Hello. Um, I think I just died. I'm deceased. Oh my God, so beautiful. Ooh. And if you want to tone it down a little bit, you can always take your sponge and tone it down. Whatever you like, whatever you like. My final verdict, this highlighter, everything, everything. Um, and then as for the eyeshadow palette, um, I think the colors are stunning. They're beautiful. I was having some trouble with Mulberry. I think it's very patchy in my opinion, but the rest of the colors I'm okay with. Noir, I mean, is standard Cypress Umbers in her other palettes. Um, Rustic is, most of them are single eyeshadows in her collection i just don't have a mole so it's really nice that i have this palette i will be using it in future videos and also in future stuff i really do enjoy it it's just some colors like the this color smallberry was giving me a hard time but that's all right like i don't exclude palettes just because one color out of the whole palette doesn't work but this palette is everything you need in your life if you're a girl that isn't into dramatic look isn't into all the color but once a pop of color every so often like the rose pink and the bronze color um of course like if you're just into a little bit of pops of color of course this would be a palette for you but an everyday palette for a girl that goes to school work interview anything this palette will do the job so yeah so i really enjoyed that but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything will be listed down below anything that you wanted to know in the video but either than that i will see you guys in my next video